Isang magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Welcome to another episode ng ating Lighthouse Cafe Talk Show. Live na live po tayo. No? At nagsimula ito. Kaya na ba tayo nagsimula ng live? Um, uh, some... Bago po mag- April. April oh, tayo nagsimula. Oh, yes. At ipagpapatuloy po natin sa gabing ito ang ilang diskusyon patungkol sa naaprubahan ng Senado at ng uh, lower house ng National Baptist Day Bill. At ito ay... Uh, otherwise known sa Senado as Bill Number 2522. No? At nagaantabay po tayo na itong bill na ito ay mapirmahan ng ating Presidente so that it will become a National Baptist Day Act. At sana po idinadalangin natin within this month. Ano, Ressa? Mm -hmm. Tama po yan, Bishop. At actually, last week lang po ay nakasama rin po natin ng ilang mga key leaders ng ilang Baptist groups upang mapag-usapan ng impact kapag po naisabatas na talaga ang National Baptist Day Act. And in fact, we also look forward to bigger gatherings and working together of Baptist groups in the coming months and years. At sa episode pong ito ay meron tayong makakapanayam ng mga, well, isa pong significant na isang Baptist leader na napasok sa government. Ano po? At sasabihin niya kung anong maaaring significance, hindi lang ng mga churches, kundi ng mga iba't ibang leaders ng mga Baptist. At uh, kung ano ang kanilang maitutulong, maikukontribute. Sa bill po ng Senate Bill 2522, ay, doon ay naisight mm -hmm. ang contribution ng mga Baptist churches you know, since, since the 1900s. Ano yeah. po? sa nation building. Tama yan, Bishop. And of course, sa ating Espresso Self episode naman, ay makasama rin po natin ng ilang mga kaibigan mula po sa Triumph Motorcycles Philippines. So, ang tabayanan mm. po natin yan. Huwag niyo po kaming uh, iiwan at samahan niyo po kami sa isang magandang talakayan muli ngayong gabi. Ako po si Ressa Abante Yebra. At ako naman si Bishop Ruben Abante. Join us and let's have good talk over good coffee. Welcome to the Lighthouse, Lighthouse Cafe. Cafe. Okay, so in order for us na medyo maging familiar po sa lahat ng mga pangyayari, mm -hmm. ay uh, babalik tayo sa 2020, oh, Ressa. Oh. It was January of 2020 nang nauna po na nagkaroon ng isang gathering mm -hmm. ang mga iba't ibang groups ng mga Baptists. Ito yung nangyari doon sa SMX. Mm -hmm. ano Napakalaki yan, Bishop. Actually, thousands po, ano, talaga napuno inside and outside oh, ng uh, convention yes. area sa SMX. Overflowing. Overflowing. And that was for the first time na iba't ibang mga groups of Baptists came together under one roof mm -hmm. upang, well, ma-realize ma ng bawat isa at uh, maihayag sa lahat ang impact ng mga churches sa nation building. Kaya po, to look back, narito ang isang uh, uh, recap ng video na yan. Ano po? Nang 2020. Watch this video.
And that celebration happened, you know, January 16, 2020. Ilang buwan bago tayo mag-lockdown, Tresa, no? Celebrating 120 years ng Baptist yes. impact po sa ating bansa. Well, they were asking kung kailan daw nagsimula ang mga Baptists mm -hmm. sa Philippines. It was in the turn of the 1900s when the first Baptist missionaries from U.S. came. Mm -hmm. Ano po? And, uh, well, doon nagsimula ang uh, pag-establish ng mga churches. At uh, unang-una, sila ay pumunta sa Iloilo at doon no, mm -hmm. nagsimula ang mga church planting. And then, uh, through the years, I dumami po hanggang marami na mga gustong Baptist ay naririto. Mm -hmm. Okay? At uh, isa sa mga significant na mga bagay na napag-usapan during that coming together ng celebration 120 years ay uh, ang mga leaders po, katulad halimbawa ng Alliance of Baptist Councils at ng Bible, Bible Mode. And during that time, more than 20 groups of Baptists came together with all the leaders. Mm -hmm. At nung i-review ang mga naging contributions ng mga Baptist churches, well, of course, number one, in bringing the gospel to communities. Right. Ano po? Mga barrio, mga mm -hmm. barangay, mga municipalities, ano po? Mga probinsya. At uh, bringing the gospel there, at hindi lang po yung mabuting balita tungkol sa ating mm -hmm. Panginoon, kundi ang pag-abot sa mga bata, Right. Sa, sa mga pamilya. schools, ano? Oh, hindi lang yan. Sapagkat uh, when the gospel comes to a person mm -hmm. and a person gets to know Christ, ang isang napakagandang bagay po yan ay nade-develop ang kanilang mga relationship. Mm -hmm. Ipinagtitibay ang kanilang kabuhayan, ang kanilang mga relationships, mm -hmm. ang kanilang pananaw. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that built, yung, yung presence po ng ating mga churches not only brought people to the Lord, but established them in their lives. Families. Naging matatagpo oh, no? yung mga families. Mga families. Ano po, yung kanila mga kabuhayan, nakaabot po tayo sa mga ilang mga pagtuturo kung paanong mas maging maigi hmm. ang pananaw sa buhay. Right. Ano po, at ang pagbabago sa buhay ng tao because of the gospel. And then, nagkaroon ng pagyabong, no? hmm. naging simulain ng mga eskwelahan. Right. Simula sa mga Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Naalala ko, Bishop, yun dun sa history po, no? sa Haro, Iloilo, yes. I think. There was a first ano din, church doon. Um, hindi lang po yung parang uh, theological uh, seminary, but yung mga schools din po sa mga elementary kids. Yes. Kung kaya po, dumami ng dumami, at bawat church ay nakakaroon ng kahit maliliit na mga eskwelahan. Mm -hmm. Lalo na sa mga mahihirap na ating mga kababayan. Right. Isa po yan sa isinait no na contribution ng mga Baptists mm -hmm. sa ating bansa. Okay? And then, hindi lang po ito, sapagkat uh, marami po mga Baptist leaders at mga Baptist churches ang nakipag-partner sa mga iba't ibang mga organizations, kahit sa government, right. upang uh, maghatid ng kinakailangan tulong sa lahat ng ating mga mamamayan. Mm -hmm. At well, actually, dito po sa Lighthouse pa lang, Bishop, ano? kasi ito yung talagang very good example po. We have the Great Lighthouse Foundation and we partnered po sa mga NGOs and even sa mga government uh, agencies mm -hmm. no? uh, para po maabot, mas maraming maabot ng mga ating mga mamamayan. Opo. Well, admittedly, mm -hmm. hindi po gayon karami ang mga Baptists sa Philippines. Yes. Okay? Compared to other other uh, sex, other mga religion, ano po, mga churches. However, they impact sa lives. Ano po, kasama na ang mga uh, evangelical na mga churches na uh, marami doon na nabibilang po ng mga Baptist. Mm -hmm. Ito po ang isang, mga, isang dahilan, mm -hmm. actually primary na dahilan, upang uh, magkaroon ng panukala na isinamite no other than uh, ni Congressman Benny Abante Jr. sa lower house. Mm -hmm. Ano po, at napakaganda that during that time sa SMX ay naroon ang ilang mga senators po natin. Yeah. And, and they mm -hmm. also considered kung ano ang naging significance. And thus, ano po, pagkatapos po nung celebration ng 120 years, ay nagkaroon ng pagpafile mm -hmm. ng National Baptist Day Bill sa lower house at nagkaroon din sa Senado. Ano po? And so, well, Nagkaroon ng deliberation, mm -hmm. nagkaroon ng hearing. Two weeks mga, ago yan, Bishop. Oh, ano, no, well, ano? hindi lang. Yung hearing uh -huh. ng mga komite oh, okay, ay okay. ginawa sa lower house at nagkaroon din ng mga hearing sa Senado. Mm -hmm. At nagkaroon ng version ng bill doon sa lower house, lower house. at nagkaroon ng version ng bill doon sa 
Senado. At pagkatapos po na ma-deliberate sa komite ng edukasyon at ng culture na pinangungunahan ni Senator Wayne Gatchelian, ito ay inaprobahan ng komite. At pagkatapos ay inihatid na po ito doon sa plenary. At ito ang nangyari matapos ang lahat ng iyan, kaya nagkaroon po ng isang, well, approval sa Senado. And I'd like you to watch this video now kung ano nangyari sa Senado, no? some weeks back. With 18 affirmative votes, no negative votes, no abstention, Senate Bill 2522 is approved on third reading. Congratulations. Congratulations to our brother Baptists. May we recognize Senator um, Gachalian? Thank you, Majority. Senator Gachalian is recognized. Thank you, Majority Floor Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. As a principal author and co-author of Senate Bill Number 2522, I vote yes for the approval on third and final reading. The enactment of this measure, which would declare the second Thursday of January every year as a special working holiday, will be known as the National, ba ba National Baptist Day. Historically, Mr. President, Baptists are known for their role in crafting the U.S. Bill of Rights and for upholding principles like religious freedom and the separation of church and state. These principles have become enshrined in the United States Constitution and the charter it later inspired, our very own 1987 Constitution. For 122 years now, the Baptists have contributed to building our country through the continuous pursuit of their evangelical mission. To date, there are 25,000 to 30,000 Baptist churches nationwide. In terms of membership, various estimates suggest that there are between 653,000 to 3 million members of Baptist churches. As chairman of the Senate Committee on Basic Education, Arts and Culture, I would like to emphasize that Baptist churches nationwide are running around 1,200 Christian schools from preschool to high school. This, Mr. President, shows us that the commitment of Baptist churches to instill academic and moral excellence through quality Christian education. Since we are proposing a special working holiday, this measure, this proposed measure will have no implications on wage rates. At this point, I would like to thank the Honorable Cherry Deloso Montalia, Chairperson of, House, Chairperson of the House Committee on the Revisions of Laws, for agreeing to adopt the Senate version of this measure for the concurrence of the House of Representatives. For shedding light on the importance of this measure, let me also thank Deputy Speaker Benvenido Abante of the 6th District of Manila, this bill's principal author in the House, and Bishop Ruben Abante of the Bible Believers League of Morality and Democracy, or Bible Mode, both of whom are honoring us with their presence today. Muli, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Let me also recognize, Mr. President, the pastors from Bible Mode who are here, who are with us today to witness our approval of this proposed measure. Sa pagkakatawang ito, nais kong pasalamatan at bigyan pugay ang ating mga kapatid na Baptist. Maraming salamat sa patuloy ninyong pagpapalaganap at pagsasabuhay sa salita ng Diyos. Maraming salamat sa patuloy ninyong pagpapakita ng malasakit sa ating mga kababayan, lalo na sa mga panahon hinaharap natin ang mga matinding pagsubok. Maraming salamat sa inyong paggabay, paghubog sa mga kabataang bahagi ng inyong mga paaralan at mga komunidad. As the 18th Congress draws to a close, Mr. President, I am grateful that one of our final acts is to honor our Christian brothers and sisters from Baptist churches who have continuously proclaimed, taught, and shared biblical principles for the betterment of our country. In the spirit of expressing solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Christ from Baptist churches and to honor their invaluable contribution to our society and way of life, I join our colleagues in voting for this measure's approval on third and final reading. Maraming salamat po, Mr. President. This is the day that the Lord has made, uh, Mr. President, by uh, designating the uh, second Thursday of January of every year as the National Baptist Day and proclaiming the same as a special working holiday. We are giving our brothers and sisters in Christ in the Baptist uh, community a specific date to be devoted um, exclusively in proclaiming, in teaching, reminding, and sharing to its members the grace 
and mercies of the Lord and the importance of biblical principles in uh, their lives as a people and as a nation. We are uh, truly honored to be co-author of Senate Bill uh, 2522 and we congratulate our chairperson, Senator Win Gachalian, and the proponent of the measure in the House of Representatives, our good friend and uh, Bishop Pastor, uh, representative of the 6th District of Manila, Pastor Bishop Benny Abante, for shepherding this measure. Again, thank you and uh, may God bless us all. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And Mr. President, with the permission of the body, will we make all members of this chamber co-author and co-sponsor, with the permission of the sponsors? All right. Um, uh, hearing no objection, uh, so recorded. Thank you very much, Mr. President. At yan po ang nangyari tungkol sa National Baptist Day Bill at tayo'y natuto at nagagalak, nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon sapagkat ngayon ay naaprobahan na po ang National Baptist Day Bill at nagaantabay po tayo na ito'y mapirmahan na into a law and it would become the National Baptist Day Act. At sa pagkakataon nito, we're so glad na one of uh, the significant leaders ng mga Baptist ay maaari natin makasama at actually resa. Hindi na siya bago sa Lighthouse Cafe sapagkat matagal na siyang partner ng Lighthouse Cafe. Ano po? So we introduce tonight Dr. Dante Velasco. Dr. Dante, magandang gabi sa iyo. Good evening. Good evening sa inyo, uh, Bishop Pare and Risa. Yes. I'm glad to be back at your Lighthouse Cafe. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, oh, kahit This is a kahit milestone na. for the Baptist Yes. In the Philippines. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. And many people have, have been talking about this National Baptist Day Bill, particularly ang significance nito. Mm -hmm. At ang tanong eh, ano ba talaga ang naging contribution na ng mga Baptists sa ating bansa? Okay? Well, ang sabi natin, of course, in bringing the gospel to communities. Mm -hmm. ano po? And then, not only in bringing the gospel, but, you know, teaching lives. Mga Change families. Lives. Ano po, sa kanila mga relationships. And then, of course, sa bagay ng edukasyon, hindi lang sa Sunday School, kundi sa mga paaralan no, na mayroon ang mga iba't ibang mga churches. Pero ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, Dr. Dante, ay tungkol sa mga Baptist leaders, katulad mo, mm -hmm. na naging bahagi ng government. Hindi ba? Yes. Oo. Now, ikaw yung naging bahagi ng government uh, matagal na panahon na, hindi ba? Noong ano, 20, uh, 2010, 2011, yes. during the presidency of uh, Noy Aquino, yes. I was in two offices. Mm -hmm. I was under secretary of the Department of Transportation and Communication, yes. uh, handling uh, public information and also the la road transport, mm -hmm. which yes. means ito, LTO at saka LTFRB and other related agencies. After that, during the time of uh, President Duterte, and still now, I joined the Department of Foreign Affairs yes. as a uh, senior advi foreign affairs advisor to the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Mm -hmm. I, I was handling information. I was uh, writing policy speeches. Yes. Even the speeches of the Secretary in uh, the United Nations General Assembly. Yes, I at, know that. Uh, yung Bandang State, yung Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, D.C. Yes. During the bilateral uh, meetings in Laos. Nando na ko. No? Oh, oh. So, well, um, in government, this these were my two uh, experiences in government under two administrations. Mm -hmm. Um. So uh, I can speak very well about how Baptists or Christians can actually be part of government and be uh, contribute to nation building, yes. contribute oh. to helping government deliver services. Right. And I, I'm saying that you need not be an undersecretary. You can be a director. You can yes. be an assistant secretary. Mm -hmm. You can be a consultant. Yes. You can be an advisor and you contribute to government, no? Yes. 
And you can and be a I professor in UP. And I'm encouraging our fellow also. Baptists oh. and Christian leaders to consider uh, joining government. Wag tayong matakot na sumama sa gobyerno. Naku, tama. The first time I was asked to try government, sabi ni Secretary Ping Desos nga, people were imagining how I will be affected how my faith will be affected. Uh -huh. Oh, hindi ka na makakate ng, ano, ng service natin. Oh, mawawala ka sa mga programs natin. <laughs> that never happened, Bishop. That mm. never happened, Risa. Oh. In fact, mm -hmm. during the time when there was a crisis in the aviation industry, mm -hmm. when the pilots of uh, Philippine Airlines walked out, mm. and uh, the secretary asked me to report and have this emergency meeting on Sunday morning. You know, I requested my boss, the secretary, boss, pwede ba sa hapon na lang? Kasi aatin pa ako ng Sunday service namin. <laughs> oh, yes. No? Oh, and you know, uh, it's a blessing that he said, okay, but just make sure you come here at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Yan, ganun. So, so tinapos mo muna yung church services. Tinapos ah? mo muna yung church services. Oh, yes. Tumapos ko muna dahil... Uh, Ang pastor na rin, yung, ano, yung, yung son ko, no? si Pastor Eric Velasco. Magagalit yung anak ko, di ba? So, and I, have, I never miss our Sunday service from yes. then on. And the secretary uh, knew na, Uy, si Dante, aatin muna ng service niya. Ganon yes. pala yun. Ang kailangan, uh, you should be very uh, ano, forthright about your faith. No? And... Uh, somehow, nakakatulong din yun dahil pag nalaman nila na ayo, hindi naman kristyano, kung di baptist, sasabihin ng isa nung may public hearing. Uh -oh. Sabi niya, gusto kong kasama si Dante. Kasi may inam yan kasama, magaling kasama yan. Uh -oh. e public hearing yun. You have to listen <laughs> to people. There was a public hearing on raising the fair yes. of the LTA, ano? LT, ano? Ano, ano? LTFRB. M MRT. Ah, MRT, And yes. I was asked by the general manager, Dante, dito ka, para mainam kang kausap eh. So, I was there. I was listening to yung mga hinaing na mga tao. I was listening to a little boy who said, pag itaas yung pamasahe, hindi kulang na yung baon ko, ganyan. And so, after listening to that, I said, sabi ko doon sa general manager, pwede ba, ipuspon muna natin yan. Oh. Yung pagtataas ng, ano, ng fair. So while we were there, hindi na itinaas, no? And kaya palang i-absorb ng gobyerno yung kulang sa pamasahe, mm. no? Kasi may tag war yan, eh. May yung DOTC, at the same time yung finance department. Yung finance gustong itaas para tataas yung revenue ng gobyerno sa LRT. Sa ano naman, sa DOTC, you would like people to use kasi... Uh, the LRT, the one function of government is to move people, no? Yes. One function of government, yung tao will have to move from his house to the factory. Yun ang, ano, yun ang trabaho ng gobyerno. And we have to make sure that our people will move or can use a public transport like LRT, no? So that they can go to work and they can yes. go back home. Yun ang public service. Mm. Yung tingin ng mga taga-finance, tataasan yung pamasahe dahil malulungki oh. daw. Mm -hmm. Pero naghanap tayo ng sistema na pwede naman pala. It, mm -hmm. Government can absorb uh, some costs yes. at pwede kang maglagay ng tinatawag na subsidy. Yes. Yun ang pwedeng gawin ng isang mananampalataya no? in government. You test the limits of policy making. Yes. You test the limits of uh, doing this or doing that. Yun ang naging experience ko doon sa DOTC. Hawak ka rin kasi yung, ano, yung action center. Hmm. No? Lahat ng involved sa communication, hinawakan ko noon. Yes. You could just imagine if... Uh, eh, kung si Bishop siya na, kung magiging ano yan, Secretary of <laughs> Telecommunications... Kayang-kaya niya. Dahil di ba, Bishop, you, well, you are a telecommunications expert. Then we will have a telecommunications service that actually are serving the people, mm. making sure that uh, our telecoms sector 
di ba? Yes. Mga fiber optics, mga gano, mga technology oriented processes lalong gaganda yan. At, oh, at kahit kaya, kayo, Dr. Dante, you might not be active in a particular agency, but you are still in government because you are teaching in a government institution. You are a professor ah, in UP. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, teaching, I'm still in the state university, the University of the Philippines. Yes. Uh, ang tawag sa akin na ngayon, dahil hindi full time, professorial lecturer. Yes. Nung wala pa akong PhD, Senior lecturer. No, my PhD na ako, my professorial lecturer. No? Now, Kaya si ano, yung bagong, bagong national security advisor, si Clarita Carlos. Yes. Uh, professorial lecturer na rin yan, may PhD din yan. Yes. Siya yung uh, na-appoint ni President-elect, you know, oh. uh, Bongbong Marcos, to become our national security advisor. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I'm still in government by teaching at the university on a, not as a regular professor, yeah. but as a, yeah, One kumbaga, of, ano tawag yan, adjunct faculty. Yeah. <laughs> One of the uh, things that, uh, uh, yung bang how we are raised as Baptists, mm -hmm. Dr. Dante, is this. Alam mo, eh, maraming mga churches, ang kanilang very, uh, concern sa lahat ng kanilang coming together or services is worship. Okay? It's worship. all worship. Pero ang mga Baptists, if uh, sabihin mo kung tama ang sasabihin ko, sa atin lahat is a matter of service to God. Lahat service ang ginagawa God, yes. natin ay palaging paglilingkod sa Panginoon so that we can please Him. Would you say na ito ay yung upbringing natin Ito ang kinakailangan dalhin natin in government para ang government seeing that everything is service. Ano? Yes. Paglilingkod. Hindi ba magandang discipline 'yan? Okay? Maganda Kasi yan, may mga Bishop, may mga Kristiyano no? na ang kanilang ang kanilang palaging pagtingin sa Panginoon, Panginoon, bigyan mo ako ng ganito. Mm -hmm. Mananalangin. It's all receiving. Mm -hmm. Pero tayo mga Baptists, one of the things na Alam natin, lalo tayong lumaki sa mga Baptist churches, everything is serving. Serving God yes. through serving people. Would you say, yes. ito talaga ang kinakailangan ng ating government galing sa mga Baptists? That's right. Actually, di ba, work is worship, di ba? Yes. If you contributed to the welfare of people and of course you advance God's kingdom, working is worship. Yes. No? And uh, we must remember though that when you go to government kasi, mm -hmm. uh, magandang sinaya mo, Bishop, na you go to government for service. Yes. Kung minsan, pag nalaman nilang papasok ka sa gobyerno, nag-take off ka sa malangan niya, uy, yayamang ka na. Oh. Ganyan. Oh, marami ka ng bodyguard. Oh, oh. Or marami ka ng puder dyan, no? Mm. And nagkaroon ng misunderstanding na uh, public service, you are you are ruling, you are, ba? You oh. don't rule, you serve. Yes. Yan siguro ang dapat uh, tandaan nating mga Kristiyano that if we uh, go to government, we are not actually ruling. We are not part of the ruling class. Okay. We are part of the serving class. Yes. We will we still remain minister. We are ministering to the brethren, no? Yes. Or to people. And you become a blessing to government and yes. you become a blessing to to uh, a, a lot of people. You know, makikita mo rin kasi na it's, it's a noble calling, sabi nga ni Salonga, no? Mm -hmm. Sabi nila kasi yung mga politics, it's, a, it's dirty. But uh, sabi ni Senate President Salonga, no? Nung nagsalita siya, it's not is a noble calling. You will yes. do you will be able to do something for the country. Mafi-feel mo 'yon. Mm. Ang problema nga lang, uh, yung kinatatakutan kinatatakutan eh, we might as well address this. Maraming ding mga hazards sa pagtrabaho sa gobyerno. Una, kung magkamali ka man lang, nandiyan ang ombudsman, <laughs> no? Hindi ko tinatakot yung mga tao, but nakaabang yung ombudsman kasi even even with an ordinary or a 
if the complainant is unknown, the ombudsman yeah. will entertain mm -hmm. a case against you. Mm -hmm. no? But there are also ways to avoid no, being yeah. charged in the ombudsman. Well, I, I remember of, one quality that we teach sa mga Baptists. It's the quality of being circumspect. Mm -hmm. Yung meron kang pag-iingat kung anong idudulot ng pagkilos mo, mm -hmm. anong magiging consequence. O oh, hindi ba? So, Dapat mag-iingat nga dyan. Yes. Pero hindi kailangan masyado maingat dahil kung masyado kang maingat, wala ka na magagawa. Oh, tama. No? May, may kunting ano, may kunting... Pero may mga kinikwento sa akin ganyan. For example, nung may, may mga attempts na they will offer you something eh. Mm. Minsan may nag, nangumbida sa akin sa lunch. Tapos kasama ko yung kaibigan ko, no? We arranged last, tatlo kami. May signal pala. Mm. Aalis siya. Punta muna ako ng ano, CR or something. Tapos naiwan na kami nung dalawa. And then, signal yun. Oy, Yusek, pwede bang bigyan mo ako ng kontratang ganito? Oh. Pwede bang gagawin ko na to? Ganon. Tapos sinahanap ko yung kaibigan ko, nawala na. Oy. No? And then, report ko yun sa... Mm ating executive secretary nun, how can I avoid that? First of all, don't, don't accept any invitation for lunch outside, sabi niya. Mm. Yung pala yun. Kasi, ang nangyari daw yan, iimbitahin ka sa isang table, at the other side of the, at the other table, may nakikinig sa oh. usapan nyo. Now, if you resist an offer, pwede makat yung tape eh. So bang wala nun, hindi na ako pumupunta sa restaurant with an unknown person. Yes. Kung si Bishop R.A., kasama ko yan, okay yan. Pero yung iba, inimbita pa, pa naman ako doon sa napakasarap na wagyo, yung wagyo yes. na beef oh, na pat. Yes. Diba? Mahal pa naman hey, na para pwede may iya ka pag huminti ka. <laughs> diba? So, ibig sabihin, Dr. Dante, no, yung upbringing sa church ay napakahalaga para tayo ay maging handa kung tayo man ay pupunta sa government. Ah, maganda yan, Bishop, yung upbringing. Itong, mm -hmm. Diba? Mayroon tayong Sunday school sa church. Yes. No? Mm -hmm. Yung mga pinag-aaral na, we learn about the heroes of the faith. Yes. We learn about the struggle of Daniel in government, diba? Yes. The struggle and triumph of Daniel, the struggle and triumph of Joseph, yes. diba? Yes. These are the two examples who Joseph became prime minister of Egypt, oh. right? Mm -hmm. And I think Daniel was also has yes. also become One prime minister. Yes. And yung upbringing nila, napansin ko nga yun doon sa account ni Daniel. Mm -hmm. Diba? They were an occupied people. The Babylonian king recruited the best and the yes. brightest among the the Israelites, no? Mm -hmm. yeah. Kasama si Daniel yan at saka yung uh, Shadrach, Beshach, at Abednego. Ito yung mga, sabi ko, mga unang-unang management trainee ni yes. Babylonian king. It was their And upbringing then, that propelled right. them. No, It was yes. their upbringing that propelled them. Kaya their upbringing, them. nakalagay din sa Bible noon na while they were in the kingdom, the Babylonian kingdom, they did not stop reading the Bible. Yes. They did not stop meditating on the words of God. Correct. And it was good Because itong Babylonian teachers naman nila are inculcating the Babylonian oh. culture to them. Yun. Alam But mo, Dr. Was, Dante, may... napakaganda yes. ang sinabi mo. Yung sinabi yeah. mo mga kwento, i by itself, napakalaking contribution. No? E ba, uh -huh. Kaya masasabi natin, eh, malaking impact mm -hmm. ng bill na ito, Dr. Dante. <laughs> Maganda po ako. Napakalaki yung training man. talaga. In fact, uh, pero uh, kailangan din nating ihanda so, itong mga ating, uh, as we are encouraging our fellow Christian brothers yes. and sisters. Go ahead, say it. To say join. it, kasi ha? medyo limitado yung ating oras, but say it, magbigay ka ng challenge sa mga kapatiran natin, especially Lalo the young. Lalo na sa, opo, any mong gusto pumasok sa government okay. position. Say it. So, God, uh, before you join government, let's prepare, let's mm. train ourselves, no? You can be consultants, you can be an engineer, but we should prepare for serving in government. Yeah. We should prepare 
to know how to say no oh. immediately if there is any attempt to to offer you a favor you must mm -hmm. learn to say no ka agad and mayroon kasing ano doon mayroon kasing they will to put two labels to a government of, mm -hmm. official dalawa lang yan Isa, dalawang categories mm -hmm. tumatanggap ba yan o hindi tumatanggap <laughs> Pag magkakaroon ka ng reputasyon doon na tumatanggap ka, mm. wala na, tuloy-tuloy na na they will tempt you with, no? but pag malaman nila na may branding ka, you have a branding, na hindi tumatanggap, what I'm saying is you can say no, but yeah. you can say no agreeably. No? But most of all, to, to summarize, I think our training in Sunday School, our training in the training union, our discipleship will be good preparations. No? So in terms of character building, mayroon na tayo niyan. But we should also train our people to concentrate on their specific expertise. Yeah. If you're an engineer, be the best engineer. Right. Telecommunications engineer, civil engineer, mm -hmm. management engineer. If you're a good accountant, be the best accountant. Diba? Yeah, If you are a communications person like I am, be the best in communication. <laughs> If you are in teaching, Be the best. You are a training officer. You are in broadcasting, for example, de ba? May ending place don, de ba? Risa yung 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 channel four. Papasukin niya, de ba? So ultimately, if we if government, if Christians and Baptists will prepare themselves, no, for this, then we will be ready. Character building and competence, character and competence, di ba? Those, these two, if you bring these two qualities, character and competence, and you to go to government, we will not all, it, you are not advancing yourself, but you are serving the country. Right. And I think that's the will of God Very for us to well serve said. Thank you so much, Dr. Dante. Ang galing talaga. Oh, but, actually, oh, yan, nakuha po talaga ng testimony, Bishop. Yes. You know, kasi isang paglilingkod Ayun po naman sa talaga ang kinakailangan no? natin eh. Oh, Christians oh. and Baptists right. in government. Well, Dr. Dante, suki ka na rito. Hindi ka namin papakawalan kapag may ganyan mga usapin. Maraming maraming salamat. I believe that this segment here has helped a lot of people. Thank you so much. Thank God you. bless you. Opo. Thank you, Bishop. Thank yes. you, Risa. Wag po kayong aalis. I hope we will have more. Yes, wag po kayong aalis. Marami pa tayong pag-uusapan, lalo yung mga mahilig magmotor. Okay? Babalik po tayo. In the last decade, we have seen a rapid development in the automotive industry. In fact, a significant growth in both cars and motorcycles have been key drivers in the economic growth and expansion in the country. From 2012 to 2019, we have seen an impressive 300% increase in the motorcycle industry. Yes, Bishop. And according to a Statista research in 2021, the number of registered motorcycles and tricycles were down to 4 million in the country coming from 7 million from the previous year, which may be a, a direct effect ng ating pandemic. Pero alam mo, Gab, ako personally, ayan, oh, ayan, ayan, ayan. <laughs> ayan ang evidence. Ano? And uh, it appears that ngayon po, eh, napakarami na, no? at umaakit na muli ang nakikita natin paggamit ng mga motorsiklo ng mga sasakyan. Tama po yan, Bishop, no? At uh, magpapasalan po kayo in advance dahil bibigyan niyo ako ng bagong motorbike uh, dito sa show natin. But uh, yan po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayong gabi at uh, yung joys and even yung fears no, ng uh, pag-motorbike and even yung safety mamaya. Kaya uh, we are so privileged to have with us uh, tonight um, one of the uh, managers of Triumph Philippines, Sir Mo Ordonia. Yes, Good evening po. Welcome to Lighthouse Cafe. <laughs> Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. And Sir Gan. Oh, alam mo, nag-uusap pa lang tayo tungkol sa mga motorsiklo eh. Yeah. No? And uh, uh, hindi dahil ito'y isa sa mga passions ko mo. But uh, we'd like everyone, kasi dito sa Lighthouse Cafe, ito'y where good talks happen. Yes. <laughs> And I believe, eh, lalo na may mga motorsiklo, ang tawag eh, cafe racer. Yes. Eh, mahilig kami sa kape. And it's a cafe. Kaya ito, oh, may pwede. Ano? Well, anyway, uh, para po sa atin, Gab, 
si Mo ay isang uh, magandang uh, panggalingan ng mga impormasyon. Of course. No, mm. Sungkol sa mga motorsiklo. Mm. Well, uh, Mo, yes. uh, nakalagay dito sa ating research mm -hmm. ay malaking tulong ng mga motorsiklo sa pag-angat ng ating ekonomiya. Yes. Okay? Yes, okay yun. Eh, sa pag-angat ng buhay ng tao. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, first off, give, let's give an example, yung mga nag-grab. Mm. Uh, oh. mm. uh, most of, most of the riders na, the, even angkas. Yes. yes. Remember na walang tayo ng mga public transportation because may limit, um, mm -hmm. what do you call it? Yung, uh, Restrictions. Social, uh, dista uh, social distancing. Uh, mm. So, basically, everyone went with angkas. They even had to go through with the... Yes. Dealing with the barrier mm -hmm. between the motorcycle rider, uh, I mean the driver and the passenger. So, maraming natulungan in that small aspect pa lang. So, and here, ngayon, uh, now that the, the world is opening up na, yes. um, even, even halfway through the pandemic, parang a lot more people actually started buying motorcycles. Mm. So that means the Philippines imported more or even produced more motorcycles, which helped a lot of people get employed. That was get to make, pay more taxes. The companies get to pay more taxes. You know. So the economy was helped it's, by the motorcycle it's industry. It's actually a fact of life. Uh, I remember well, when I was in Asian countries, mm. Taiwan, for example, no, Bangkok, mm -hmm. you know, oh. you you mga no araw mga 80s, 90s, ang dami mo mga scooter, mm. dami mo mga motorcycle. Vietnam, India, yeah. lalo na. Yeah. Ay naku sinabi ko sa iyo, parang Parang mga ano, parang mga... Parang ant farm. Oo, totoo yun. Mm. Pero, it actually spell growth. Yes. Lahat ng bagay yes. na yun. Mm. Pero hindi lang sa bagay ng kabuhayan. Mm. No? Passion. Mm -hmm. Hobby. Mm -hmm. Di ba? And, uh, ano namang klaseng segment ito? Can you please describe? Ano namang klaseng mga, mga kaisipan ng mga pumapasok dito na... Iba naman ang kabuhayan nila, syempre, pero but they yeah. buy motorcycles? Well, practicality, I guess, is number mm -hmm. one. Because, yes. uh, of course, like going from point A to point B, which is home mm -hmm. to work, oh. and then going back, mm -hmm. the easiest yeah. and most convenient way, and since marami naman sa atin, work from home yung mga better halves, or ganyan, um, most of the men, especially, and even women now, mm -hmm. are buying motorcycles because they want to get from, you know, Mm. To, to and from mm. work na mas, mas convenient without in traffic. In the fastest way in possible? In the fastest way possible, mm. yeah. Less yeah. gas. Less gas? Uh, less gas. Yes. Oh, oh. So. oh, okay. Mas mobile, uh, faster, no? because you can also go through mga medyo mas malilit na streets yeah. or roads. Back, back you know? streets, uh, yes. So, oh. very uh, convenient. Very convenient. Yes. Pero narinig ko kasi, kapag nag-interest yung asawang lalaki na bumili na ng motorcycle, mm. kaawin niya yung misis na kaya. <laughs> eh, passport. Ba, Let me, ano? Uh, oh, kaya siyempre, <laughs> hindi, hindi, hindi sa ito yan, delikado yan. Uh, it, it, oh, always, diba? it always depends on who's behind the steering, <laughs> the, the handlebar. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. I've, mm. I've been to accidents myself. I, I yes. Was, I was telling Sir God. Um, but you learn it. Mm. Yeah. You know, once, you, once, you, once you drop your, once you drop, all you have to do is stand up. And, mm. and, and, Eh, kahit ano sa buhay ng tao, yes. may failures. Yes, exactly. Yes. Oo. Exactly. Kahit ano mang ginagawa mo, lumalaga pa ka. Yes. But you need to overcome those things. Mm -hmm. And get better. Get better. Mm -hmm. Get better and learn. You know, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. parang we go through exams every now and then. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, triumph. Ang ganda ng brand nyo kasi. Triumph. Tagumpay. Tagumpay. <laughs> Tagalog. Yeah. Victory. Yeah. Yeah. Victory. <laughs> so, kayo yung kasama din sa mga... Hindi lang hindi lang kayo nagbebenta, nagma-market ano. Mm -hmm. Kundi nagbibigay rin kayo ng kaalaman yes. sa lahat. In what we in what way? Well, first, um, now we also we also uh, we also joined uh, well, we're working in collaboration with Honda Safety Driving School. So mm -hmm. that's that's one we're teaching we're teaching not not just our customers, our existing customers, but yung mga maging customer namin gusto namin na matuto sila how to use the motorcycles especially big displacements mm. higher displacements mm. na safe sila mm. hindi hindi sila kakabahan mm. hindi sila they have the, the confidence and the peace of mind of you know getting from point A to point B and mm. going back to point A safely mm. so mm. to their families so that's one 
and then uh, also whenever we release our bikes, uh, mm. we're we're almost we're close we're close to a thousand releases now. Mm. Uh, yeah, with for this year, Philippines yeah. for this yeah. year, yeah. And, and um, we always make what, it a point. thousand yeah. releases since ano ba ano mong since, period niya? Since uh, February 2020, somewhere there. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So two years now. So mm. um, we uh, we always make it a point that we tell the customers what they need to know before they start the bike. Mm -hmm. So every day, uh, check your check your tires, mm. check your brakes, check your your fuel, as, 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 mm. and um, everything else that has, has to work for you to actually get from mm. point A to point B and back. Pero ito Gabi, ang gusto kong talaga itanong kay mo, mm. because uh, ang hindi palaging na appreciate ng tao ay ito, that uh, motorcycles go with personalities yes. of people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Say something about that. Because well, this is espresso sales. Mm, Lifestyle. Yes. Oh, yeah, Say bikes, something about bikes that. Bikes tell a lot about a person. Um, like myself, I, uh, I started motorcycling when I was, since I was 12. So wow. I've, I've started loving mm. two wheels. Uh, I, I love two wheels more than four wheels. <laughs> um, because, because it's, 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 okay, first it's fun and it mm. keeps a smile on your face, like, make, uh, yeah. you know. And um, it, it adds more smiles to the people who actually see you pass. Mm. You know, mm. but on, how come how come this person makes it look so so safe? Mm. Okay. You know, that's one. Um, and um, whenever whenever you ride a motor so motorcycle, it's not it's not just simply coming from point A to point B, but you know, getting there happy. You know, oh, you know okay. be because it's something that you. It's different from sitting behind the wheel. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. uh, where you where you feel the breeze, it's mm. different. It, 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 you don't feel the air conditioning. Mm. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay, tangi tama yung uh, smile sa uh, sa face ni Sir ano no, Sir Mo. <laughs> yeah. I think I think kasi iba ang misconception is oh iba na papa pogi lang. But yeah. here you have like deeper uh, emotion, siguro no, being mm -hmm. fulfilled no. Yes, yeah. sir. Um, Eh, Even with the helmet ba? Ano, <laughs> yan ang gusto ko itanong eh. What sort of, mm. kasi alam mo, minsan, eh, pumunta ako sa mall, mm. suit, suit ko yung helmet, pumasok ako, eh, syempre, alam mo, meron pang thermal scanner doon. Syempre, tatanggalin nyo yung helmet, maandun yung gwardiya, babae. Mm. Pagtanggal ko ng helmet ko, sabay-sabi ng babae, ay, matanda na pala. <laughs> <laughs> so, so na-judge oh. na kayo. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Anyway, <laughs> So, Mer maraming klaseng mga motorsiklo. Merong kayo, merong kayong adventure, yes, sir. merong kayong cruiser, yes, merong kayong roadster. Ano pa? Roadster. Yeah, sports, Tell us yeah. about that. Pa pa paano ito nagiging fit sa mga iba? Halimbawa si Gabby, for example, mm -hmm. yan. O oh, ako. Oh. Remember the first time we, we talked about your bike? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so love at first sight. When, uh, yeah, <laughs> because because basically what sometimes when mm. when uh, when a person comes into the showroom, showroom you can already tell what kind of bike they're looking for. Yeah. Because uh, of course first is their posture mm. and then uh, the way the way they hold their faces up and and and, uh, and how they uh, how they how they how they ask mm. you. Mm. Um, some some of the customers sabihin nila na what kind of bike is best for me? Or, sasabihin nila na, I want this bike. Mm. So there's a difference between the two ways. Eh? Mm. Um, pag sinabi nila, I want this bike, they already did their research. Yes. Oh, and they've okay. been riding so long, mm. they've been riding different kinds of bikes so long, and they already want this. And mm. then uh, there's other customers naman na, pag uh, pasok nila, what do you think is best for me? Mm. So, okay. um, first, you can tell that they're probably an adventure rider, mm. uh, you know, with the way they're built. If they have, if they have, uh, you know, uh, what do you mm. call it, a physique mm. ng athlete, mm. you could tell that they want to go way out. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, tina mo yan, yan. Oh, yeah. naka-Americana pa. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's you. <laughs> so, okay. you know, you, yours, of course, Americana, you got the classic. Mm. So, and it's, and it's a cruiser, that, uh, it's not heavy, mm. and it's light. So basically, mm. you're light on your feet, you're light on the go, and then um, mm. basically it tells up. When when you look at the bike, you, you know that it's yours. Anyone else who looks at it would know it's yours. Mm. Mm. So basically, we also we also make sure that the customer actually says na, or people who know the customer actually says the same thing. Oh, mm. that's sir. That's that's Bishop's bike. That's mm. Gab, uh, that's mm. Sir Gab's bike. Mm. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? And then, then identity more than it's not just you who yes. carries the bike, but the carry the bike carries mm. you as well. Mm. So. 
Yes. Oh. It's an expression of yourself, no? Exactly. May, bukod sa maganda yung mga shots nyo dito, Bishop, parang uh, wala kayo problema sa gas, no? <laughs> and you can tell it's your bike without, even without the fan. Uh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and um, yeah, sometimes a lot of people would know that, you know, pagpasok na sa... sa sa showroom, sa right? showroom mm. or even in a in a in a in a cafe, mm. may kita palang nila ng helmet mo, ah. alam na nila na oh, that's Bishas, mm. oh, that's your god, mm. you know, because mm. it's it's the way you, you the way we dress also tells mm. how 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 we are, because mm. like me, I'm a technician, this mm. is how I dress, so mm-hmm. um, basically it's a uh, it's it's an expression for the person, it's uh, mm. for the pers- person themselves na this is my helmet, this is how I want to dress it, mm. this is this is my bike, this is how I want to dress it. And then, mm. nakikilala na, nakikilala ng mga tao na... And even, you customize it according yes, sa... Yes, according to your feel, mm. yes. Feel mo. Yeah. Mm. Uh, safety mo. Alam, safety. ang road conditions natin sa Pilipinas, iba-iba. Yes. <laughs> and uh, mm. ang, the general sentiment is hindi safe. Mm. But, yes. uh, mm. uh, tell us about safety ng motorcycles. Meron ba talagang safety feature yan? Well, First, most of our, I mean, all of our bikes has traction control. Mm. Apart from the ABS that already gives us the safety, the same the same way cars mm. also have it. Now, uh, whenever you, you whenever you hit the brakes, hindi lang siya maglalak. Mm. It okay. would it would allow you to swerve and uh, and uh, find safety. But then uh, there's also traction control, where in um, when uh, when the when the, when the bike actually calculates that one of your wheels spins faster than the other that means mm-hmm. you're unsafe mm. so what it does mm. is it, it lessens the throttle mm. and then uh, it, it it's it works together with the ABS as well Mm-mm. which is the anti-lock braking system those two together when the, when those two work mm. you have the peace of mind that you're gonna get from point A to point B mm. safely even even when you when you encounter accidents or sudden mm-hmm. stops or sudden mm. braking Eh, what about yung halimbawa, umuulan, maaraw, Rain, yeah. everything? Mm-hmm. Rain, yeah. Iba-ibang, iba-ibang modes din. We have different driving modes. There's, of course, the road mode, which is always used, um, or it, 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 it's the default. And then there's rain mode. Rain mode actually has higher uh, higher uh, ta- uh, traction control, mm-hmm. uh, more active pala yung mm-hmm. traction control and the ABS. So ABS. basically, um, whenever it rains, the roads are slippery. Like I mentioned, Kanina, there's a, uh, whenever, whenever one of your wheels spins faster than the other that means you're slipping mm. Mm. so it will lessen the throttle and then it will get you back into control mm. Mm. so yes mm. very and, ano po, no? um, i think one of the misconception nga, you know once you purchase a bike para oh medyo bibilangin ko na ko ilang weeks ba yeah. ka mas suma- okay sa 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 and even now, you know, the, the latest that we have now is the Tiger 1200. Mm. It, it actually has your a blind spot radar. Uh-huh. Oh, so we're, we're, really? we're a blind corner mm. or, 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 uh, or uh, what do you call it? There's a warning. Alarm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So whenever a car or any any other motorist gets too close to your right side from the from behind, mm. you're the under the side mirror. There's a there's a light that actually uh, lights up, mm. or even on the left side, same way. And then if both lights are on, that that means someone's tailgating. Mm. Or you're going too slow mm. on a highway, so mm. basically you have to speed up, you have to adjust, and then, mm. or you can you can get away from whatever's mm. getting close to you on either side. So, paano mahabol nang yah pala bishop sa mga cars ngayon, no? Technology, yung, yung, yung yes. technology and uh, preventive ano no? And then uh, there's also active suspension. So mm. basically, the Tiger 1200 and the Speed Speed Triple 1200 also mm. has that. Now, when you're cornering, of course. Mm. We enjoy, we enjoy, you know, weekend rides where you wanna, mm. we, you wanna bank mm. to the sides and then make the, make the most out of any corner, any, mm. any smooth corner. Mm. Whenever your bike is tilted mm. at a certain angle, ang mm. mangyayari is uh, the suspension mm. adjusts oh. so that you wouldn't slip mm. or you yeah. wouldn't low side. Very adaptive, oh. Yes, mm. very adaptive. Mm. So, it, or it would, it would soften on, on straights so that you feel the comfort. Mm-hmm. Nang, uh, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be stiff when you're mm-hmm. riding straight. Or, you know. Alam mo, magandang lecture to sa atin. <laughs> I, I think, pati yung mga nanonood sa atin, na, uh, wow, uh-huh. ganun pala ngayon. <laughs> Tapos meron pa yatang cruise control. Cruise control, eh. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It used to be na, sa, sa other countries lang natin mm-hmm. na enjoy on, mm-hmm. uh, you just press a button and it stays on 75 kilometers an hour or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one. And then there's also 
uh, tire pressure monitoring. So yeah. mm -hmm. you know that when you know when your one when your one of your wheels, mm -hmm. we 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 survive and we thrive on mm -hmm. two wheels. So basically, you have to take care of those two wheels. Mm. So, pagka magbaba yung pressure ng front or rear, sa mm. sabihin na sa ng bike. Mm. So that's when you have to go to the gas mm. station and you know pop up. Of course, sir, sir Mo, not all bikes are created equal. No, mm -hmm. uh, you're talking about all these wonderful features, features you know, yes. and safety uh, and you know, uh, technology mm -hmm. uh, of Triumph. What, what else about Triumph you know makes it parang stand out from, from well, the other brands? Yeah. Well, let's go back to the economy. Mm. Uh, okay. It's it's it's. First of all, being being on two wheels, it's practical. But mm -hmm. then ours is kind of, it's highly economical because you only have to maintain it once a year. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. a, 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 apart from other brands or other other competitors, mm -hmm. uh, there's a certain kilometer that you actually have to look after. It's probably around 5,000, 6,000 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Para coche, coche. Mm -hmm. Para coche. So ours is actually every 16,000 kilometers. So that's that's wow. more than what you can actually mm -hmm. cover in a year. So, or you can actually do it annually. Mm -hmm. And um, some customers, they're Why 5,000? 5,000 ako sa, sa, sa isa kong bike. 8,000 ako sa, sa isa yeah. kong bike. Why, why sa inyo 16,000? Uh, well, you can always make it halfway. <laughs> you know, you can always have us check it mm. halfway. Uh, that's what we pride ourselves with in service. Uh, mm. we, 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 always, we always make sure that when you feel that you're, you're, you're in doubt with your bike, then mm. Come visit us because you'll always know where we are mm. whenever you need us. So we'll always give you, give you, give your bike a thorough check, mm. yes. and uh, if you need to change oil, depending on how you ride, din kasi, so, mm. or where you ride, mm. you know, um, when you want to, when you want, we we could recommend if you need a change oil. Or not. Mm. Yeah. So, but then sixteen thousand. That's all. That's sixteen thousand. The, the ease so of far. yung pag maneuver. Maneuvering, yeah. Yeah, because kahit mabigat, mm -hmm. you know. Ako na amaze niya ako na yung ganyang kalaki I can handle. And you can handle it, yes. Um, uh, maneuvering, they've uh, Triumph has actually designed mo most of, I mean, all of our models. Na mm. the the weight of the bike is actually in front of your knees. Mm. So because the knees are the first uh, the first joints that we actually use to 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 stand straight on the bike or or keep the bike mm. upright. So what they did was they didn't put it directly under oh. up between the knees. Mm. We're in it's all the way. Mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 they put it in front of the mm -hmm. knees, between the, the, the front tire and uh, the knees, mm -hmm. para mas stable. Nice. And then uh, we've, we've uh, with, with, with our, our modern classic models, mm -hmm. there's a significant drop of uh, the weight itself, which is seven kilos from, from last year's models. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they've, uh, they've lightened the crankshaft, they've lightened the, the, the engine covers. Um, even the tire, uh, the wheels, the mm. rims, from steel, you know, and aluminum. So basically, mm. seven kilos. I mean, imagine carrying seven kilos uh, mm. all day, or mm. you know, riding it to work, mm. carrying it to work. Um, they took that off and then uh, made made most of our bikes lighter now. So mm. even the Tiger 1200 is actually almost the same weight as the 900. Mm. So uh, basically, na ng 1200 when uh, when it. Even, even even while you're standing on it, while while, while you're uh, while you're at a still, mm. at a standstill, mm. it's not top heavy mm. even if it's in, uh, with full tank mm. of gas. So, um, technology is is not like the '80s bikes or yeah. '90s bikes. So <laughs> basically, yeah. '90s bikes, 600 kilo, uh, 600 cc pala, bigat bigat na. It feels like mm. a, it feels like a 3,000 cc bike or <laughs> mm. <laughs> compared yeah. to the to the bikes now. So that also adds to safety. Wherein, uh, even if you, some customers actually can't reach their, can't reach, can't reach the floor, but mm. they still own high bikes mm. because they know it's light. Mm. Oh. So mm. even even when they're stuck stuck in traffic, um, mm. manage pa rin nila mm. na the bike is the bike is safe. Mm. You know, they're safe on the bike. Mm -hmm. I notice uh, the way you market uh, the ano. There's not so much offering na paglakas ng muffler and everything. Yeah. Yes. Eh, akala kasi ng marami siguro, mas malakas ang tunog, mas maganda. Mas maganda. Yeah. What, what can you say about that? Well, um, there is a saying, uh, <laughs> loud pipes save lives, uh, or um, what do you call it? Empty, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, 
I, I think that, that stands out the most. Dude. Live, live, loud pipes that save lives. Sometimes mm. it's true, sometimes it's not. But then uh, basically it depends on your neighbors, I yeah. guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that. Yeah. 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 But then, you know, having a, having a big bike, you know, mm. and, and if it's quiet, then um, the engine actually screams a lot louder. Wow. That's where you hear Very the profound, purity yeah. of it. Yeah. Mm. It's, 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 some people appreciate that noise mm. more. Mm. Or, or it's not a noise, it's harmony for them. Ah. Yeah. And then uh, some, some naman gusto nila, aggressive sila, especially mm. on the sport bikes. They need louder pipes because they're approaching much faster. Mm. So if, uh, if the people can't hear you from afar, they'll never hear you when you're five meters mm. away from them. So I think it goes back to the personalities, uh, Bishop, no, that you were exactly, saying. Yeah. It's an expression of yourself. Exactly. Uh, yes. so In fact, ito, no? I don't know kung ma-appreciate ito mo because uh, I'm, I usually talk with the fellow church leaders. Mm. Ang dami mga church leaders ang mayroong motor ngayon. Mm -hmm. And uh, somehow, uh, it not only develops yung kanilang personality, mm. but it seems that they can reach more people with it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Even, even far up. Yeah. You know, like the trail. Mm. Oh, oh. You know, um, um, I, I mean, I think there are some who actually get on dirt bikes as well and go up the mountains just to reach schools. Mm. Oh. Yeah, so really depends. I mean, uh, how many how many how many provinces do we know na hindi makarating yung yung four wheels? Mm. Not unless it's like a it's a it's, cu it's a customized jeepney mm. that puts uh, passengers on top. Mm. But then yeah. nandiyan yung habal habal. Ah yes, 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 yes. So uh, basically, it reaches it reaches far flung areas that, <laughs> that four wheels can't reach. Mm. So missionaries we usually use bikes. Hello, mo kasi ang tatay ko. Yes, sir. For many long years since we were kids, mm. talagang nabuhay kami sa scooter. Mm. Ah yes, so. As in, yung mga sampa sampa <laughs> bishop oh. na. No? Yeah. Eh, kaya nag elementary ako. Yeah. Hinahatid ako sa scooter. Mm. Kaya lumaki ako sa scooter. Mm -hmm. And then later, motorcycle na, you know. Kaya, well, uh, as much as I enjoy the thing, maliit pa ako, palagi ako nasa harap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pag yeah. nanatid ako na, ni tatay, you know. Mm -hmm. Pero there's, there's something in motorcycles that make your personality na medyo uplifted, uplifted ka. And it builds mm. your temperament, it builds your emotions, yes, sir. It, it builds your outlook mm. in life. Am I correct on yes, that? Yes, it is, very much. Uh, especially after an accident. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, but that is true. Because, yes. uh, you know, after well, most of our customers also go through it, uh, after an accident, they feel, no, I got to get back on my horse. Yes. <laughs> keep, keep straddling. Pero ito, yes. ito, however good you are, how, mm. however good your motorcycle may be, mm -hmm. the best is how you read the road. Yes, exactly. And not, it's not about how yeah. expensive it is. Yeah. yeah so. It's it's the the rider then, no? May yes. uh, ako, Bishop, no? Parang riding or yung mga bikes ad, adds uh, miles to your life. Yes. It adds wisdom, it adds experience to your exactly. life. Kaya lang, napakabilis talaga ng oras, Bishop, no? Para <laughs> yeah, uh, nag-start pa tayo yung biyahe, nakarating na tayo dito. Ako may hindi pag-uusap natin. But it's good having you. If you have a message to our uh, viewers here, anong, anong pwede mo sabihin sa kanila? Go ahead. Um, well, there is uh, only one branch for now, uh, accepting service, and um, if you if you're also interested with Triumphs, uh, we're just right at Green Hills. Yes. And uh, based on uh, our experience and uh, how we've, we've handled it, most of the things in the past two years, we're actually number one in uh, sales now, global. And then, or I think number two. Mm. But then next month, we're going to be number one. And then number two in, sir, oh no, I think number one in service. So basically, global. And uh, a lot of our customers actually do uh, enjoy their bikes. And of course, us being wherever they need us, whenever they need us, they uh, enjoy the service as well. So. Very good. Well, talagang espresso self ito, guys. <laughs> yes. At huwag niyo yung kakalimutan po at type in uh, hashtag Bishop Abante para sa discount po sa <laughs> Triumph. <laughs> But it was a great uh, pleasure. And maraming maraming salamat po, sir. Sir, sir Gav, yeah, thank you po. Okay, we'll have more for you tonight. Thank you, Bishop.
Welcome to Hebrews. Ito po ang segment sa ating Lighthouse Cafe na naglalayo na bigyang daan no, sa ating buhay ang mga prinsipyo mula sa ating pag-uusap na makikita natin mula sa salita ng Diyos. Marami po tayong pinag-usapan ngayon. Like kanina, we're having uh, Dr. Dante Velasco as our guest. Pinag-usapan natin how our faith, even as Baptist, ay maaaring dalhin ano po, sa government. Ngayon naman sa ating espresso self, pinag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa mga motorsiklo, how that it can bring people from point A to point B, ano po, and however challenging ang mga kalye, ang mga nasa paligid natin, we can actually be safe. Ano po, ay marami po mga prinsipyo sa banda na kusulatan that we can, we can actually share with you as we go on with our lives. Ano man po ang kabuhayan, ano man ang challenge, ano po, ano man ang hinaharap natin. Hindi po natin maiiwasan sa ating buhay na marami tayong challenges. Some have prosperity, some have adversity, ano po, some have victories, some have defeats, ano po, some would be in mountain peaks, others would be in valleys. Pero, ano nga ba ang dapat nating attitude at mindset sa kalagitnaan ng mga bagay na ito? Well, I refer you to what Solomon says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verses 14 and 18. He says this, Ang sabi po niya ay, In the day of prosperity, be joyful. Meron tayong maraming dahilan upang magkaroon ng galak. No? Sa bagay na meron tayong tagumpay, meron tayong mga pangailangan na, 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 na bibigay, nakukuha natin ang nating mga kagustuhan. Pero ang sabi niya, tinuloy niya, but in the day of adversity, challenges. Ano po? Mga ayaw natin na mga uh, kalalagyan na hindi ideal. Ano po? Ang sabi, consider. Surely God has appointed the one as well as the other. Ibig sabihin po, as far as God is concerned. Ano po? Kung ano man ang kalalagyan na halimbawa gusto natin o hindi man natin gusto. Well, the Lord has set those situations before us. That is reality. And man, sabi dito, cannot find out no, what will come after him. Totoo po yun. We do not know tomorrow. We do not know even one hour after this. At ang sabi ni Solomon, it is good that you grasp this. Take hold of this. And also, not remove your hand from the other. Ibig sabihin, when you are faced with good things in life, take hold of it. But when you're faced with bad things in life, abay, wag po natin bitawan like, hindi ko kailangan yan. Ano? Ayaw ko yan. But the Bible tells us, take hold of it. Ano po? Because ang sabi, for he who fears God will escape them all. Okay? Ang lahat ng may takot sa Diyos, kumikilala sa pagkilos ng Diyos, kumikilala sa plano ng Diyos, kumikilala sa kalooban ng Diyos, ano man po ito, ang sabi dito eh, will escape them all. Alam niyo po tayo ngayon eh, medyo nasa dulo na yata, no? Nang tinatawag nating pandemia. Okay? Now, we do not know what's up ahead. Another pandemic may happen. Pero alam po ninyo, the fact is this. All through, since 2020, the Lord has lifted us up. And we need to take hold of that. You see? Ang sabi ni Solomon again in Ecclesiastes 11.9, Rejoice, O young man, in your youth. And let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. Walk in the ways of your heart. And in the sight of your eyes. It's okay to have fun. Ano po? Kung ano man yan. Mga challenges, harapin natin yan. But take hold of it. Pero sa lahat po ng bagay na ito, how you act, how you respond sa kalagitnaan ng adversity, consider that for all of these, God will bring you into judgment. Well, lahat po dapat ay magpakilala, may pagkilala, na tayo haharap sa Diyos. 
sapagkat anumang uri ng ating hinaharap, ito man ay prosperity, ito man ay adversity, well, tayo po hinaharap sa Panginoon. At sa lahat ng bagay, we would want that we please Him. And the best, of course, is have Christ in your heart so that you can have something in you to face all these things. God bless you all. Gabi, Reza. Napakabilis na naman ang ating programa. Para overtime na nga tayo. Uh, overtime na nga tayo. Pero napakaganda mga diskusyon. At sana po ay kayo ay uh, pinagpala. May natutunan kayo sa lahat ng ating pinag-usapan. Yes, para nga po nakabilis, napakabilis nung trip natin, Bishop, no? <laughs> Kung sana tayo uh, bumiyahe. Pero sana po naging uh, pagpapala po at uh, this episode was indeed a blessing for all of you. Right, at baka nyo pong mapanood ang replay ng ating mga episodes sa ating pong Facebook and YouTube channels. If you missed our previous episodes, maagyo rin po itong mapanood sa mga uh, platforms na ito. And of course, you can also download our Lighthouse Spectrum app. Libre po yan sa Google Play Store and the App Store. Okay, so join us again on Monday night live po tayo alas 8:30 ng gabi for another Lighthouse Cafe. Where, Where good talks happen. happen.